Hey there, it's Gina, and in this video, we're going to do a dollar store project, or you probably already got the stuff at home to make this pretty project, and it is a book page wreath. There's a million ways you can make a book page wreath, but this is the way that I've made them for years, and it is my favorite way. I like the variations and the textures that it creates, and I start off by rolling pages with a pencil and then I hot glue the edge to make cones. And I make these in different shapes and sizes. I do some super tight, some really loose. You don't have to use the pencil and towards the end of making this, you'll see that I need a few more. And so I do them by hand, but I do like to have some that are really tight and some that are like bigger cones because I like the variation that it creates. And once you've made a bunch of these, this is like the perfect project. If you're watching a movie or if you want to listen to an audiobook, this part takes a while. It did take me probably 30 minutes just to make all the cones, but it was totally worth it. It's beautiful. I promise you're going to love it. Once you've got a bunch of them, you want to start off with your biggest ones. You're going to need quite a few that are big, and it's going to seem a little weird at first, but I promise, stick with me. You're going to start off by gluing them together, and you want to run glue down the sides, and you're basically going to create your wreath shape just by gluing the cones together. And you need to glue quite a few of them, and I just do this by eye. Honestly, you could place something round in the middle if you wanted to kind of be your base. It does get a little bit wonky, but I'll show you how to fix it towards the end. So you wanna go all the way around and do this. And it's funny because after I got this finished, I haven't made, I used to make these a lot back whenever I did booth sales and I sold handmade goods. I made a lot of these and sold them at Christmas time. However, I haven't made one in quite a few years. And after I finished this one and I took it downstairs, my husband, it shocked me, but he said, oh my gosh, you made a book page wreath. I love those. I hate that we got, like the last one that we had got torn up and I didn't even know you still wanted to make one. So I was pleasantly surprised that my husband was excited and actually wanted to put this in his office in our new house so that was kind of fun honestly to know that you know he had missed having one of these in our house and he was glad to have one again so that's always nice right when your husband appreciates the things that you make so for the last one i just glued it i took and i glued it on one side and then ran more glue and glued it on the other so that it made a complete ring of these book cones and you can see it's not perfectly symmetrical on the inside but that's okay because we're going to go back and take the tighter rolled ones and we're going to layer more and more and more on the top of the one that we just did so you're going to have two or three layers of these little cones all the way around the wreath and it is imperfect and it is random and it is honestly i just think this is the coolest way to make them like i said i've seen a few different ways to make reads i've made a, a a bunch of different book pages book page reads over the years but this particular one is just i love the variations of it because it just has like this little quirk factor to it so, you know, we didn't do anything to like really give it any structure on the back. So after it's all done, I flip it over and then I just use these craft sticks. And at first I do basically a box around the inner circle of the, the, um, the wreath. And I just hot glue right down onto the back of the page. Then I go on the outside edge of that all the way around and I do another set. I do the, the edges first and then I connect in the center. And I do go with one more up at the top. I take a piece of twine, I make a loop and I glue it onto there and then put it on the back. And that's how I create my hanger. And that's it for this project. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment, maybe hit the like button or even subscribe if you want to see more craft projects in the future. Thanks so much for watching.